Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to the second series of War on the Sea. So the first series we did the United States Navy and had a incredible victory in the last episode that we brought out. And now it is time for the IJN. And we have the Tokyo Express mod downloaded and ready to go. So let's not waste any more time. Battle of Guadalcanal, let's begin. Oh, I am excited. Here we go. So the campaign summary. August 7, 1942. Bad weather allowed the Allied Expeditionary Force to arrive unseen in the night of 6 August and the morning of 7 August, taking defenders by surprise at Guadalcanal and the Florida Islands. Preparations should be made immediately to help the defenders in capturing the Henderson Field and build a large airfield on Guadalcanal. Once finished, long-range bombers will be free to attack Allied supply lines between America and Australia and provide cover for the Imperial Japanese Navy to operate further south. Your orders are to repel the invaders, build a major airfield on Guadalcanal, clear the neighboring islands of any hostile forces, and conclude Operation Mo with the capture of Port Moresby. Oh my gosh, we got to go way down there and capture Port Moresby, huh? That's going to be, oh, that's going to be epic. Alternatively, inflict such heavy losses on enemy shipping that the Allies are forced to abandon any attempt to capture Guadalcanal. All right, our goals: build a rank five airfield in Guadalcanal, take control of Guadalcanal, Florida Islands, Port Moresby, Malaita, Milne Bay and the Shortland Islands. Port Moresby, no friggin' way. Oh, this is exciting. New mod installed, the Tokyo Express mod. I am ready to rock and roll. So we need to take Port Moresby, Milne Bay, the uh, Rennell Island as well, right? Florida Islands, Port Moresby, Malaita, Milne Bay, Shortland Islands, okay. Santa Cruz Islands, where are the Shortlands? Oh, we already have the Shortlands. Perfect. So Guadalcanal and Florida Islands. I mean, I, I'm almost thinking we should just absolutely demolish Guadalcanal. Send everything we have. So what do we got? Troops, 750, 750, tier two port, rank one airfield. I'm thinking we find out where all our troops are. 10,000 troops, 20,000 supplies. There we go. Rabao. All right, now we're talking. I'm thinking we just send everything all 10,000 troops with 20,000 supplies and start heading for Guadalcanal to start retaking that I think that's going to be our best bet to start the day off but we also got 4,000 troops and supplies here look at that we've got actually quite a bit we could even actually go for Milan Bay we could do a two-pronged assault send 2,000 troops maybe 2,000 supplies down to Milan Bay and then take supplies everywhere else that we can I think we might have to do that but let's get started. Do we even have, there are no, we have nothing. We have like no ships even to start. What is this madness? You think they'd be kind enough just to give us a quick fleet? Not even that, all right, new sea and new air. Oh my gosh, look at all these, look at all these planes. All right, we got our first little task force and we're just doing something small. It didn't take too much. So we've got two destroyers with two heavy cruisers and a Congo because of a battleship. We know how much I love battleships, so oh, yes. So we will start getting close with this task force also. Start getting down here along with our submarine. And now we're gonna do our transport ships. So let's start getting that going. All right, the invasion force is on the way. So we've got task force two consisting of those heavy cruisers, the Congo and some destroyers. We've got two submarines heading down towards the Guadalcanal area. And between the two carrier convoys or transport convoys, I'd say we have probably about 50, well, I can tell you right now, we have a little over 4,000 troops and a little over 7,000 supplies. So I don't know. I think it's gonna be enough to at least start putting a hole in Guadalcanal. We have to take this. We can't let the allies actually secure this because that would make the game way more difficult. So we're gonna get down there and try and uh, stir some things up. We'll see what we can get into. All right, we finally got the submarines down in the Guadalcanal area. I know we saw some ships over here a little bit. Here comes our carrier task force right here. Where are you guys going? Holy hell, let's just get a thing going straight down there, please. Hello. Look at this and our first encounter. Oh, it's nighttime already? No, that is not what we wanted, but we are on a good course. What have we got? We've got destroyers. Look at this. Big bastard right here. Oh, that's a North Carolina. That is a North Carolina. And we need that. We definitely need that. 
All right, what are we dealing with with Japanese submarines? We have six tubes ready. We are going to fire all six at a one degree spread and hopefully get a much better solution as they get closer. So I'm going to let time get past here really quick, let this North Carolina get a little closer, and hopefully we can send six right in front of this uh, destroyer and it doesn't get in the way. We'll see how it goes. All right, I got to be honest, our odds are not very good at all. 35% is about what we're getting. Uh, and that's that's about as high as it's going. 35. We're going to fire all six and hope for the best. Again, hopefully we can still get right past this guy. And uh, we are going to bug out of here. That's six torpedoes on the way, which leaves us with 11 right now. So if we can manage to cripple this guy enough to where he has to go back and repair, hey, that's a good day for me right there. I will happily take that. All right, moment of truth. I think they're, uh, they should be here. I can't see them. There they are, right there. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, four torpedoes. Absolutely epic. We missed two of them. There they are right there. But we managed to get four torpedoes right along the front side. Let's get a damage report for this guy. Heavy and heavy. Oh my gosh, if those other torpedoes had uh, managed to get a hit, we would have been loving life right now. Four torpedoes, heavy and heavy for this uh, North Carolina. Get out of here, I-15. You did some great work. What a what a hell of a way to start off the series. I love it. And this guy is listing heavily to the left. Now, granted, he is turning. But look at all these destroyers. Or these uh, BBs. I mean, look at this guy. Holy hell, this was a massive task force ready to rock and roll. He's on fire, listing heavily to the left, and uh, let's hope, heavy flooding. All right, I've been cruising along with this thing for quite a while, and it is, I mean, the fires are out, but it is still at heavy and heavy. I don't think we're gonna have much luck with this going into critical for flooding, which would be amazing, because sinking something this early on, oh my, that would be such an achievement. Episode 1. Good job, North Carolina, for staying aboard. Look at it. I mean, it's practically in the water. We'll get out of here and confirm. They are disgusting. You know what? Let's see if we can't find that group again with the second set of subs coming in. This guy needs to come back because he's got all the troops, right? And this one has all the supplies. Sure does. So they need to meet up and then come down together. Okay, we have another encounter with the, uh, oh my gosh, one SVB, five ships very fast. It's the same group, and we are right on top of them, I think, with this I-15. No, we're not. It said we were. No, we are. Yes. Oh, yes, here we go. And that North Carolina is no longer here, but we have this heavy cruiser that we can try and sink. I like it. Let's get a little closer if we can. Let's start detecting, or start targeting, rather. Let's get this thing identified. And I think we have it identified. This is gonna be a Wichita class heavy cruiser. If we can knock out a Wichita class, uh, yeah, that would be incredible. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three torpedoes. How many torpedoes have we got? No, let's do four torpedoes at a one degree spread. And let's get the... Uh, solution up a little higher and again we're gonna try and thread it right in between who are these guys hello hopefully they didn't spot us wait for that solution to get a little better at 70 percent that's pretty good for me we might do this and then bugger off i think we're gonna fire at a 70 percent solution and then we are gonna start retreating let's get out of here and we'll see how this does at 70 percent i mean god we only had a 34 or 35 percent chance on that battleship and we nailed them with all of them if we could do it hit all four with this wichita that would be incredible. All right, moment of truth. These are looking good. Here they are. Here's all four of them. Oh, come on. I got to get close to my screen to see this. I think we're going to hit all four. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And you saw that big explosion right there. Report critical and critical, ladies and gentlemen. Our first kill of the game going to be a heavy class cruiser and I am okay with that because these things are disgusting as we all know from uh, the last game we just played. Ooh, there's another one right here too. He probably would have been better too because he's got uh, the four guns. And there it is, Wichita 
sinking officially. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Great friggin' work with the I. I am starting to love these I-15s. They are disgusting. First casualty of the game. You are out of here. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and retreat on out of here. Leave and confirm. There we go, 10,600 tons down to the bottom. Command points gained, only three command points gained. Whoa. Is this gonna be one of those things where it's like super hard to get command points in this uh, mod? Because I could have swore that would have been like 10 without the mod. If that's the case, comment down below, let me know. Because uh, I need to know that before just being so uh, brazen with my guys like we were in the last series. I don't want to go too crazy if that's the case. All right, we are nearing it. We have Task Force 4 and... Oh, both Task Force 4s. Okay, well, they're both called Task Force 4. They are nearing Guadalcanal with the supplies and troops so we can start trying to push back with this invasion. We still have 626 troops on the island. We're holding off. We have 1,900 supplies. But we have our Japanese Zeros that just arrived for Task Force 2 because we have been getting hammered with planes. And it's lucky that we did bring them down here because we have, it looks like, torpedo bombers ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and start this and get these guys as close as we can. Start heading back, gentlemen. There they are. That's exactly what we wanted. I was hoping they were going to be a little closer. Okay, luckily, it's just uh, only a couple planes, I think. It is only a couple planes. Perfect. These guys are disgusting, though. Hopefully our Japanese Zeros can handle that. And are they going to go for the destroyer? That is totally... Boy, they sure released uh, really soon, didn't they? It looks like new players have joined the game. I didn't even see these guys coming. We're having uh, some Japanese Zeros. They are re-diverting to try and take out these guys before hopefully they reach... Uh... Oh, yes. There's one. Perfect. That is two dive bombers that we do not have to worry about, which is uh, very good because they could have caused some serious damage. It looks like we also have some Hellcats heading this way, and... Oh, a good night, sir. We have a real dogfight going on our hands. This is exciting. I don't want any dive bombers going here. Oh, Mr. Hellcat, today you are done. Good night, sweet prince. Who else is left? We got these guys that have some bombs, but I don't think they're actually going to drop any of them, so I think we're good. All right, we can retreat on out of here finally. I don't think they have anything. That is good with me, though. We managed to knock out eight aircraft. Hell yes. We're still patrolling this area right here. I-15, you glorious bastard. My god. I am in love with these submarines right here. Absolutely epic. Oh yes, even better news though. We have arrived with our convoy ships. Here we go, supplies and much needed troops. We were down to 249. Thank goodness we arrived when we did. Let's go ahead and manage cargo and start offloading everything we can for troops. Hopefully this is enough. I don't know, 4,400 troops. Let's get those supplies offloaded if we can. Are we close enough? We sure are. With 8,500 supplies, you cargo ships, great work. And we are only a quarter of the way in. Holy hell, yeah, there's a huge invasion force on here. Well, the best thing we can do is get back there and uh, start bringing them back. Just keep the pressure going, that's all we can do. Keep the pressure going and blockade the port. We'll get these uh, convoys right on back over here. Great work. I am surprised with the... 4,400 troops were only a quarter of the way done. That means 10,000 troops? We would have been slightly over halfway. Oh my goodness, we might actually have our first ship battle here, ladies and gentlemen, too. Select all. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get their attack orders going. It is one Cleveland-class heavy cruiser. Oh my goodness, yes. It is dark as hell, too. We got some, some destroyers. We have one heavy cruiser. It looks like two destroyers, one heavy cruiser. I think we're going to be doing pretty okay with this one. Star shells are up. Let's go ahead and start focusing down the Cleveland, ladies and gentlemen. Why it is not firing back, I don't know. I don't know if it just doesn't see us yet because... Oh, oh, oh yes. Disgusting. Does it just not see us? It must not because they don't have any star shells up. 
Holy hell, the IGN Navy is disgusting. Yes, focus them down. We got the Congo going, right? Oh, yes, look at those big guns just blowing everything away. They must not see us, which is why they're not attacking. Look at the fire in the distance. Oh, my gosh. Report, heavy and modern. This is disgusting. Oh, my, this is going to be a great series. This is going to be absolutely incredible. Another massive explosion on the Cleveland. Oh, and here come all the lights. It has begun. Come on, guys. Start getting those. Yeah, this is, uh, this is intense. Start turning around. Get out of there. Tribal suffers magazine cargo explosion. Nice. What a great hit. Report critical and critical for the tribal. Good night. That's what we like to see. We are also taking some rounds, though. Holy shit, the Akatsuki suffers a magazine and cargo explosion. Did they do something? They had to have done something with this game, right? Because it is bizarre. The amount of explosions that are going on right now. Holy hell. And there goes the Akazuki. One for one. And the Benson is in full retreat. It wants nothing to do with us. Holy hell. And they have finally respotted the heavy cruiser. We are going to try and finish it off right now. It's still at heavy and heavy, even though it's completely engulfed in flames. Let's go. And there we go. We've respotted the Cleveland. Let's go ahead and shift focus over to the Cleveland. Go ahead and give the attack orders for that. I'm sure we have our solution building up, but we definitely want to get that Cleveland out of action right now if we can. Hell yeah, there we go. Cleveland is going down. Who's on fire over here? It looks like the Miyoko has actually caught fire, which is uh, not ideal. Let's go ahead and finish off this Benson, everybody. Let's call this a day. That was a great encounter. Holy hell. Great bloody work. And there we go. The Benson's actually starting to get peppered now. Let's go ahead and take a report. Critical and heavy still. Not going to be much longer, though. And like I said, not going to be much longer. And there it goes. Benson is officially sinking. Our first encounter at sea. We are victorious. Sadly, we lost that Akazuki. Damn it. That was a magazine explosion for magazine explosion exchange. But we knocked out another heavy cruiser, which is awesome. Retreat. Confirm. Four command points. What is this madness? It is going to be tough coming across command points clearly in this game. Holy shit. So we need to keep a close eye on everything. We only have 19 command points. We need to go back though with these guys to pick up everything else. I was not expecting how difficult this is, but I was informed and warned that this mod is super difficult and very hard as one person put it so super difficult from many people commenting and then one person said be prepared because this is very hard but i'm okay with that i'm super up for the challenge i have enjoyed this so much so far the ijn has been kicking ass submarines on point love them to death battleships i mean come on congo you can't go wrong with the congo and then we finally dropped some uh, troops off to start the series off 4400 troops with 8500 supplies i don't foresee it going too well because they still have the upper hand, but it's a start. We're gonna work to get more this way as soon as possible. We might actually even spend the command points and get another group headed this way if we can. But I am excited. I can't wait to get this series going. It's uh, it's gonna be a wild ride, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you guys liked, what you didn't like, and give me tips, because I'm gonna need a lot of tips as it pertains to this mod, because there are a lot of new things that I'm uh, finding out. Uh, already with just the ships, there was like eight different types of cargo ships. So let me know, give me some tips that I'm gonna need to know going forward. And if you guys wanna see more on this series, which I'm gonna try and pump out a whole bunch of videos, at least two this week, that's the goal, uh, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna get right back at it, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, I hope you guys have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?